five inevitable challenges graduates face and how to overcome them. The story was told about a group of alumni highly established in their careers who got together to visit their old university professor. Conversation soon turned into complaint about stress in work and life. Offering his guest coffee, the professor went to the kitchen and returned with a large pot of coffee and an assortment of cups, plastic, glass, crystal, some plain looking, some expensive, some exquisite. He then told them to pick a cup and help themselves to the coffee. What transpired afterward was an invaluable life lesson. Stay with me, I will tell you the rest of the story and the one valuable lesson you will take away. With that said, I give you 5 challenges graduates face and how to deal with them. Career or Business Should I look for a job? Which is not guaranteed. Or should I start a business? Which is not guaranteed to succeed either. There are no guarantees in life. You are 80% likely to fail in business within 18 months and 90% not likely to get a high paying job. Scary statistics, right? But it's the sad reality. I remember when I graduated years ago, I have always wanted to run a business but I had no money to start. At the time, I felt the best strategy was to get a job, save up some money and start a business later on. But I changed my mind few months after fruitfulless job hunting and started a business. While I was going through the turbulent waters of building a business, I had friends who had jobs. They appeared to be doing a lot better. Fast forward 12 years later, most of them are struggling with what to do with their lives. This is not to look better than anyone but to let you know that all that glitters is not gold. You have to consider the long term impact of the decision you make. Getting a job early after graduation is not a guarantee you will be fulfilled down the road. Go all in with whatever you believe is best for you. Money or Value In 2006, Yahoo offered Mark Zuckerberg $1 billion to buy Facebook. Mark refused because he believed in Facebook and stuck to his guns regardless of what came his way. Here is one thing you must know. You cannot substitute hard work for anything else if you want to succeed. Rather than work hard at what you hate, wouldn't you rather work hard at what you have genuine interest in? It took Mark 7 hard years of coding, trial and errors to achieve success with Facebook. It's the love for what you do or the love of the significance of what you do that will keep you going at the darkest moments. Whether you choose to pursue a career or to start a business, make adding value and meeting a need your primary motivation. Money goes where value is. If you start a business to solve an existing problem and remain efficiently consistent at it, the money will come. That also applies to pursuing a problem-solving career. Lack of experience Almost every job applied for will have this dreaded comment. Minimum of 3 to 5 years requirement. How would you get experience when no one is willing to give you a job? The market is already what it is, you can't change that. The question is, how do you prefer this? If you're still a student, start making productive use of your holidays, strikes, breaks and industrial attachment. Look for side jobs. If you have graduated, look for internship position. Even if you have to work for free, remember your goal is to gain experience for future advantage. Dealing with rejection Your job application are going to be rejected, loads of it without explanation. If you are recruited as a marketer, which is usually the most common jobs around, a lot of people are going to say no to you. If you announce your new business on social media, people are going to do good job of telling you why it will not succeed. People close to you will tell you pursuing your dream is unrealistic. When a student, you may have uncles and relatives you reach out to for periodic pocket money and allowance. Most of these people 
will stop taking your calls. That uncle that promised you a job or travel abroad for your master's studies will go silent on you. This is the reality you are going to face when you leave school. Unfortunately, most young people today are not prepared for this reality. If you are going to live to your full potential, you must develop a thick skin. You must understand that no one owes you anything and that you are responsible for your life. Don't expect everyone to understand your aspiration, not even your dearest parents and siblings. Decide that you will never let any rejection hold you back. Look for and surround yourself with like-minded people. Living up to expectation Remember the story of the alumni and professor I started in the beginning of this video. So, when all the students had a cup of coffee in hand, the professor said, If you noticed, all the nice-looking expensive cups have been taken up, leaving behind the plain and cheap ones. While it is normal for you to want only the best for yourself, that is the source of your problem and stress. Be assured, he said, that the cup itself adds no quality to the coffee. In most cases, it is just more expensive and in some cases, even hides what we drink. What all of you really wanted was a coffee, not the cup. But you consciously went for the best cup and then you began eyeing each other's cups. Now, consider this. Life is the coffee. The jobs, money and position in society are the cups. They are just tools to hold and contain life. And the type of cups we have does not define nor change the quality of the life we live. Sometimes, by concentrating only on the cup, we'll fail to enjoy the coffee. The most fulfilled people don't have the best of everything. They just make the best of everything. Never compare yourself with anyone. The only expectation you need to live up to is your own expectation of yourself. What's one thing you are taking away from this video? Tell us in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share with someone. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, this is likely a good time to subscribe. Until next time, your success matters. Matters.